Hello! A lot of people ask me how to run Arena and Daggerfall, so I'm going to show you how in this video with step-by-step -step instructions. First, you need to download DOSBox and the games. Go to the DOSBox website and download the latest version of DOSBox. There's a version for pretty much any operating system. I use Windows 7, so I'm going to use the Windows version. Next, go to Bethesda's website and download Arena and or Daggerfall, whatever one you want. Now, install DOSBox. It's pretty straightforward. You can install it wherever you like. For this example, I'm going to put it on the C drive. After that, extract the arena zip file and you should get an arena exe file. Open that and it'll extract the game folder to wherever you like. Once again, I'm going to put it on the C drive just to keep this example simple to follow. If you get a message like this, don't worry about it, it's just Windows 7 being dumb. Alright, now run DOSBox. You have to mount the C drive to the drive that your games are on. To do this, type mount space C space and then the drive um, that you put your game folder in. So for me it would be C colon and then I don't know if that's a backspace or backslash or a forward slash so but you can see what it is. Now type C colon to get into the C drive. And then type CD space arena. And that'll get you into the arena folder. And then just type arena. And then the game should start. The menus and character creation screen should seem fine, but once you get in game and try to move around, you'll notice that the game is too slow and unplayable. This is because the default cycle settings are too low. You can raise the cycles with Ctrl F12 and lower them with Ctrl F11. So raise the cycles to around 20,000 by pushing Ctrl F12 a few times. Now this is the way a lot of people say to run the game, but I like to do it a different way. So now I'm going to show you my way. To do it my way, go into the DOSBox folder and open the DOSBox options file. It should open up a text file in Notepad with all the settings. Now look for where it says Cycles. Change it so it says Cycles equal Max. This way when you play the game, it'll run at full speed without having to mess with cycles in-game. Now scroll all the way to the bottom of the text file and type in all the stuff you typed in earlier. Make sure you save when you're done. What this does is make it so DOSBox automatically types in this stuff as soon as you run the program. So if you did it right, Arena should automatically start as soon as you run DOSBox, and you won't have to type in any of that stuff anymore. The final thing you need to know about Arena is the password at the end of the first dungeon. I get asked this question all the time. When you try to exit the first dungeon, it'll ask you a question. To find the answer to those questions, just go into your arena folder, then into the docs folder, and you should see a passwords text file. All the answers are in there. And that's it for arena, it's pretty simple. Make sure you buy a lot of potions and save a lot. Now for Daggerfall, you want to extract the zip file you downloaded. It should have two folders. Once again, I'm going to put them on the C drive in this example. Open up DOSBox options again, and look for where it says MEM size. Change it to 32 or higher. I put it on 63 since I think I needed it for when I played games like Skynet, which required a lot of memory. Now scroll down to the bottom again, and pretty much just copy what I put here.
you want to add the dash free size 1000 to your mounted C drive, otherwise it will say you don't have enough space when you try to install Daggerfall. And you want to mount the D drive, which is DOSBox's fake CD-ROM drive, to your DF CD folder, since it has the CD files in that folder. And so it acts as if you put the Daggerfall CD into your computer. Then just put C colon under that and save. Run DOSBox and it should put you in the C drive. You want to go into the D drive to install the game first. So type D colon and then type install. Click on continue and install the game to your hard drive. Then click change the install size and pick huge installation. After it installs, then it goes into sound setup. You can just do auto detect for the first one and it should pick Sound Blaster 16. Rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Click OK and go to select MIDI. Select Sound Blaster 16. Although you can try out other ones if you want. I think for my videos I use MPU, but I could be wrong. Okay, after all that, it should put you in the dagger folder. Now you want to patch the game, so type dag213 and push enter. Then say yes to any questions it asks. Once it's all done patching, just type dagger to start the game. One more thing to remember is that the next time you start DOSBox is going to put you just in the C drive, not in the dagger folder. So you want to type CD dagger before just typing dagger to start the game. Or you can just add that to the DOSBox options file so that it does that automatically when you start DOSBox. And that's it. The first thing you should do is configure controls to your liking. I'd recommend putting the mouse controls on view based.